Hello folks, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, diseases on uh, tomato plants. Um, tomato plants, many people they say they are a dirty plant and uh, I can uh, agree in some way because um, they catch diseases very easy and many of those uh, diseases are uh, seed borne. You got fungus, uh, bacteria, and uh, viruses. And if you sow these seeds in, uh, you know, say, sterile soil, uh, the d disease spores will uh, sometimes go down in the ground and uh, infect your plants again. I've heard if you keep seeds for many years, uh, I'm talking about tomato seeds. Uh, those uh, pathogens, they will uh, die after a couple of years. So uh, if you've got a very old tomato seed, uh, it's said that it uh, can be clean for uh, diseases. Um, but if you do as I do, that I uh, take the seeds one year and sow the next year, I like to disinfect them and there are um, many ways to do this. The fermenting process can sometimes take away some of the bacteria and fungus and stuff like that, but not always. And um, I think it's a very unsure way to uh, disinfect your, your seeds. And the two disinfection uh, methods I use is bleach and uh, heat. Um, they work very well. I think heat maybe be the best. Uh, it's like an artificial fever you give the seed so the infectious uh, spores will die inside the seed. When using bleach you will disinfect the outer cover of the, um, of the seed but it won't go inside it and uh, kill any um, pathogens that are inside the seed. But it's not so often you find these uh, you know, spores inside the seed. But uh, you never know. So um, to be on the safe side, I disinfect my seeds. Either right after I fermented them or uh, just before I'm gonna sow them. So if you follow me here, I can show you what I do. The first method I want to show here is uh, the bleach disinfection method. Um, I use uh, this kind of bleach. It's uh, chlorine based and it's uh, 5%. I use this to wash with. After fermentation of the tomato seeds, uh, they are still wet. So you can put it uh, right into the solution. If you've got dry seeds that uh, has been stored for a while, it's best to uh, soak them for a couple of hours before you put them into the bleach solution. So in this glass here with uh, clean water, I got a couple of tomato seeds that has been soaked for a couple of hours. When making the bleach mix, I use four parts of water and one part with bleach. Like this. And I start shaking. And I shake this for about two, three minutes because these seeds have a cover of hairs that um, can keep air bubbles in them. I'll show you a picture here. So I shake like this to get the air bubbles out and the bleach uh, mixture to uh, come in contact with all parts of the seed coat. And after I shake this 
glass here for those two or three minutes. I pour out the blade solution and I wash the shades in clean running water for um, say five minutes. I do that after all the smell of the blades is gone and the seeds are you know clean from uh, any small amounts of blades. And then clean them with some running water here. The seeds will sink to the bottom so I can pour the water off like this. So if you haven't got a clock nearby, you can do this about 10-15 times. Pour out water like this and shake it. You can also put the seeds in the mesh cloth and hold them underneath the tap and let the water run here. So now when you have uh, washed the seeds off with clean water, you can take these seeds out now and sow them. Because uh, now there's no bacterial or fungus pathogens on the seed cover. So these seeds are now disinfected. You can also dry these seeds for uh, further storing if you want to. When using this uh, heat method for uh, disinfection of the tomato seeds, I need a couple of things here. Uh, homemade stuff, kind of, you know, hillbilly inventions. <laughs> uh, I'm a kind of person that uh, don't like to throw anything uh, if it's partly broken or damaged because I think like uh, so that uh, uh, in the future, there will always be a need for some of the, you know, rubbish I hide away. <laughs> so, I got an old coffee machine here. Uh, you know, the main glass here was broken, but uh, the heater is still working. So, I can show you what I do here with this one. I'm just going to put it up here. So the first thing I do here is to fill this up, this first, you know, box here with uh, hot water. And then I take another uh, tin can like this and put on the top here. Like this. And I fill it about one third full of hot water. Not very hot, about 50 degrees Celsius. And I use a cooking thermometer like this and a lid that I can regulate like this. When I switch this uh, thingy on, the temperature will rise to about 60 degrees Celsius in the lowest of the cans. Um, in this one, the temperature will rise to about, say, 50 degrees Celsius. 
50 degrees Celsius is vital because that is the temperature I use when I disinfect the tomato seeds. So I'll show you what I do with the tomato seeds. So the thing I use here is a mesh bag. And I put the seeds inside here and I roll this. put a clip or something on top here and as soon as I get 50 degrees Celsius in the water here I take the seeds and I put them inside here and then when you got 50 degrees Celsius I let the, the seeds stay in the water for 25 minutes and then they are disinfected. I like this method because it will kill the pathogens inside the seed as well, not only on the surface of the seed. If you got 51 degrees Celsius, you keep the seeds in here for 20 minutes. And when you are finished, you can take the seeds out and sow them if you want to or store them further if you just fermented them sometimes if uh, it's very cold in the room you work in the temperature in these uh, top tin here is a little bit too low then I put this lid on and the temperature will rise in here. I just have to you know, watch out that the temperature is 50 degrees during uh, the whole disinfection time. So I hope these two easy tips can help you out there if you want to try disinfect your own seeds. I think that's a wise thing to do because you never know what kind of soil uh, the plants are grown in that the seeds came from and uh, so on so uh, I do that to be on the safe side there are many other methods you can use to uh, disinfect your tomato seeds and uh, one of them is using copper hydroxide and copper hydroxide is quite easy to make yourself you know at home in your kitchen with using a piece of copper a battery water and some magnesium sulfate but I can show that in another video if anyone is interested in stuff like that okay well, this was all I had today and I uh, hope it was helpful and uh, that you enjoyed the bit and I wish you all happy holidays in the time to come bye friends There are many uh, copper solutions or salts you can uh, salt. There are many. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>